In After Effects version 2024, the developers added direct import of 3D models. And now you can use full 3D in your video projects without any plugins. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use these new features to quickly attach any 3D model to a face in a video. For this task, we will use my free Motion Bro plugin and the latest version of the AE Face Tools. You can learn more about using face tools in this video. Well, let's start the tutorial. So open the Motion Bro plugin and activate the AE Face Tools package. Go to the 3D Model Holder section. There are two similar sets of presets here. If you have the Element plugin by the Video Copilot team, you can use Element 3D presets. We will look at these presets later. Now we will look at the presets from the standard set. There are three types of presets that should be applied depending on the shape of your 3D model. If your 3D model resembles a regular mask or head that can be placed over the face, use this simple model preset. If the shape of your 3D model has details that can overlap with the character's head or body, use the split single model or two halves model preset. For your footage, make a face tracking with detailed features. Select a footage layer and apply the Simple Model preset from the Motion Bro plugin. The default 3D model was attached to the face. Let's replace the default model, for example, with this one. Download the model in GLB format and import it into After Effects. Now open the preset composition and here open the 3D Model Holder comp. Remove the default model from this composition and drag your model here. Place and scale the model to match the position and size of this reference face. Go back to the preset composition. Here, by transforming the 3D model layer, you can improve the position of your model relative to the character's face. Now, we will adjust the lighting of the 3D model to better match the scene environment. The environment light associated with this HDR map is used here for lighting. Hundreds of free HDRs can be found on this site. Import the HDR file into After Effects and change the default map by holding the Alt key. Adjust these controllers to improve the lighting angle. If necessary, you can enable mask shadow casting. However, in this case, the shadow may be visible outside the character. To fix this issue, open up the Shadow Matte Layer, which is your footage of the face. Use any appropriate method to remove the background to separate the character's body. Now let's adjust the model's color correction to better match the original video. Go back to the main composition, add color correction effects to the preset layer and adjust them. To further improve the model's color correction, add the noise and fast box blur effects to the preset layer. Set the blur value to the minimum and increase the noise so that it matches the grain of the original video as closely as possible. And finally, let's make a similar motion blur. To do this, Add the Force Motion Blur effect to the preset layer and adjust it. Next, we will look at a method that allows the 3D model to intersect with the character's head and body. For this task, we need to split the model into two halves. The first half will be above the character, and the second will be under. So apply the split single model preset to the footage. In the 3D model holder, replace the default model with yours and place it by the reference face. Go to the preset comp and here select the split layer. Using keying by color, this layer makes transparent everything outside the layer's plane. 
This way, we get the front part of the model. In the split layer settings, you can choose the keying color. For best results, select a color that is missing in your model. Move the split layer so that only what is needed to overlap the character is required in the foreground. Now, go back to the main comp. Select the preset layer and rename it 3D Model Foreground. Open the essential properties in the layer settings and enable the Split Model checkbox. Next, let's adjust the color correction of the 3D model. Now we need to make an additional layer where the character will be separated from the background. So duplicate the original footage and rename it Matte Character. All these tracking effects are not needed and can be removed. Next, you need to remove the background from the video using any suitable method. In my case, I will use the Roto Brush Tool. Now duplicate the preset layer and rename it Background. Place the layer below the matte character layer and switch off the Split Model checkbox. To make the model look more realistic, let's add shadow casting to the character. To do this, duplicate the foreground layer and rename it Shadow. Add a drop shadow effect to the layer and adjust it. Now use the matte character layer as the alpha matte for the shadow layer. The previous method works well for models without translucent parts, but if your model has glass parts, similar problems may arise. To fix this, we need the model to actually consist of two halves. This cannot be done directly in After Effects, so we will need some kind of 3D editor to separate the model. I'll show you an example of how this can be done using Blender. So create a new project, remove everything unnecessary, and import your 3D model here. If the model consists of several objects, you must join them into a single object. To do this, select all the objects in the model and press Ctrl plus J. Enable Edit Mode in the top menu and select all polygons of the model. In the Tools bar, select Bisect. Now, holding down the Ctrl key, draw a vertical line. This action will create an additional edge to the model. Make sure you switch on X-ray mode. Next, select all polygons outside the edge we just added. Now make separate by selection. Return to object mode. We need to export these two halves of the model into separate files. In the export settings, make sure the selected objects checkbox is enabled. Go back to After Effects. In the 3D model holder, replace these models with the Alt key held down. Place it by the reference face. In the main composition, open the essential properties in the layer settings and select Front Half from this list. Rename the layer to Foreground. Duplicate the layer and place it behind the character. In the Split Mode list, select Back Half and rename it Background. If you look closely, this narrow stripe appears at the junction of the two models. To fix this, move the Back 3D model a few pixels forward in the holder's composition. Now, the joint has become invisible. If you have the Element plugin, instead of standard importing 3D models, you can use presets from the Element 3D category. In general, 
Customizing Element 3D presets is not very different from standard presets. The main difference is the model addition to the scene. To replace the default 3D model, in the Element Plugin settings, click Scene Setup. If you see this warning about missing files when launching the plugin, relink the assets. In this window, add the path to the directory where the AE Face Tools package is installed. Now, delete the default model and import your model here. Well, that's all. Subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss new video tutorials and products for motion design. This was Video Lancer. Bye.